Bonjour! We are in Paris and this is our actual first time in Paris and we're so excited. We're also staying at a Hotel Indigo in Paris. It's a Hotel Indigo Opera is what it's called because it's by the Opera House. Uh, and we booked a super big room because we have three people staying with us. So it's me and Candy and also my friend Kathy who I went to Turkey with. Uh, she's awesome. So she's coming soon. Uh, her flight got delayed so she's coming in a bit. But before she comes in, I thought we could give a room tour of our queen suite duplex room. So it has a queen bed upstairs. Yeah, there's an upstairs. And downstairs is like a little sofa bed for Kathy. So starting off, this is the entryway. And to the left is a big closet with, you know, the usual uh, items. Like there's like a digital safe box. Uh, an iron, laundry bag, ironing board. Um, looks like there's like extra blankets up there, but they've already kind of laid it out on the couch for the third guest, which I'll show in a second. But yeah, so extra um, hangers and the luggage rack, which I like that luggage rack. It looks very sturdy. And then we were really surprised about this. We thought that it was just a one bathroom uh, hotel room, but there's actually a half bathroom down here too. So it's just like a little, little sink right there, but you know, they have the toilet, toilet, and there's candy and the big flush button that candy mentioned earlier. I don't know why, but all their flush buttons are like humongous in Europe. Uh, and then they have like a side of the uh, bags for feminine products. Then you walk through and over here is like a working desk area and a fridge. So it's like a mini fridge um, that could, I can never figure out which way it opens. There we go. So it's super mini, but if you want to, you know, store your water to cool it down, you got that. A uh, couple of outlets. Um, and oh, I like this too, because you can actually open this window. There's no like glass or, uh, you know, one of those, what do you call it? Screens to block your view. So it's all open. So then the third section, I would say, this is where Kathy will be sleeping. So this is the third guest and they already laid it out for her with a nice pillow and all the toiletries and towels. So I thought that was really nice that they did that. And a couple outlets next to it on the bottom. Um, also, I am an IHG member, <coughs> excuse me. I am an IHG member, so I got this little gift of, um, I don't know what this is really. Bon bon, la bon bon, la bon bon français. Okay. And they got like a nice little chair here and then a table in front. Over here is the coffee and tea station. So they have a bunch of different teas and they do usually have a bunch of uh, different coffees, but Earlier when we just checked in, uh, a man stopped by and asked if we wanted anything in the mini bar. And we thought he meant, you know, like bar bar, like the alcohol <laughs> bottles. But I think what he meant was this with the coffee pods. So we're just gonna have to go back and ask for some more. <laughs> Here is the TV and uh, they have a TV downstairs and a TV upstairs. Uh, what else they have like, um, it's like a heating vent there, <clears throat> you know, in case you get cold, but it's summer, it's not gonna get cold. Now, uh, we're gonna go to the upstairs part where Candy will show you. All right, so now I'm gonna show you upstairs. It's very narrow. Um, <laughs> we actually had kind of some difficulty taking our own luggage up here, <laughs> but we made it, we brought it up. Also, there's a door here for like extra privacy. Ta-da! <laughs> This is the upstairs bedroom and this is the queen bed. I wish it was a king. I mean, I feel like a king could fit in here. But anyways, uh, this is the queen. And next to each bed are nightstands, uh, which is great. So we can both, you know, charge our devices in the middle of the night. Um, the lighting is uh, very, I want to say, uh, dark in a way. <laughs> but, um, I guess that's how they wanted the mood of this room. There's like a little bit of light coming in here. There's like a, like a window here where there's like natural light coming in, which that's kind of cool. I'm not sure what this is. Um, I don't see like a ceiling fan or anything. So, oh, maybe it's for this. <laughs> I 
No. Oh, it is. Oh, interesting. Okay. So fancy. <laughs> so what I really like about this room is there is a ton of counter space, which is awesome for our luggage. So once we get settled in, we're gonna like, you know, obviously put our luggage up here, spread everything out. There's a TV, which, I mean, I don't know if we'll really watch TV. We usually don't when we're on vacation. We just like to have background noise, like news or something on. So it is nice that they put TVs like upstairs and downstairs. Here we have a nice big closet. We already put our stuff in here, but like ton of torch, it's torridge. <laughs> okay, we've been up for 24 hours. So please, please, um, <laughs> please be nice. <laughs> don't. It's a lot of torridge. So here's the closet. There's a lot of space in here. Lots of, you know, storage space. Uh, did I already talk about the bed? Uh, I did. I said it was a queen size bed. Feels, feels, feels nice. Feels nice. Um, there is a full length mirror, which I appreciate the full length mirror. Um, those disco looking balls <laughs> are interesting. I think that's a light. I think there's light. Yeah, they're lights. I thought it was just decoration, but there's lights there. Alarm clock. Oh, I guess you can. Oh, it's for an iPod, I guess. But yeah, I don't know if we'll, we'll use that. But um, <laughs> there's a curtain here, which I don't know we'll, if we'll use. I think it's just decoration. But here, I love the bathroom because there's a lot of light in here. I'm all about light <laughs> and natural light, especially in the bathroom when you're wanting to get ready. Check this out. There's actually a towel warming rack here. I first thought it was just a regular rack, but then I see a cord here and there's a button. So I think it actually warms up your towel. How fancy. Super fancy, it's like you have a spa. Um, looks like this window as well is remote operated. I wonder if the other remote works in here because the remote's missing. Hopefully it does because I don't want people watching me take a shower and stuff. Because you can see, you can actually see over there in the other building, so. Um, oh, okay. I guess you can just do it yourself if you wanted to. Don't need the technology. Check this out, guys. I feel like every hotel we've been to lately does this, where it's got the, the light all around the mirror, which is really, really nice, where you can like find all your pores and you know start plucking away. Anyways, um, that's what I do with this mirror right here. <laughs> Yay, I love this mirror. Um, so they got outlets here for you know blow dryer, which they do have a blow dryer right here. Has a nice little cozy cubby hole for it, that's nice. Uh, there's some amenities. Let's see. Lots of cotton balls. Shower caps. Does anyone ever use a shower cap? I never use a shower cap, but a lot of hotels still provide that. I do. You do? Okay, Bye. sometimes. Um, lots of Q-tips, which I appreciate. I like the Q-tips. Uh, not sure. Oh, a nail filer. That's, I don't see that very often. So it looks like they have two towels, one for each of us and two Kind of like hand towels, two body wash towels, and soap, and the shampoo. Oh, that's a shampoo. I gave a lot. Usually, like the shampoo bottles are tiny. I don't know what this is doing in here, <laughs> but anywho, so that's nice. Um, we have our own toilet and the big, you know, button there. Oh, they even put like a a brush, mm -hmm. a toilet brush. Yeah, I know it's downstairs. Which I never really, yeah, I never yeah. really noticed that in hotels. <laughs> they don't usually put, which I always wish they did, because you know, sometimes you want to clean up after yourself. <laughs> so Crystal just pointed out, which I didn't notice, the water comes out this way. I'm used to doing it this way. I, want, I wonder why they did that. If that was a mistake or that was intentional. I don't know, but I like it. I also noticed there's a button here, which I'm like, what is this button for? I'm afraid to push it. doing nothing. And here is the shower. There's no door. Um, you know, you just walk in and do your thing. <laughs> uh, I am not a fan of the rain shower. I don't know why fancy hotels, they think people like this. Well, maybe people do. I don't like it. Cause you know what? Sometimes I don't wanna wash my hair and it comes straight down. So luckily they have a handheld one, which, ah, oops, I got it all over my shoes. <laughs> which I will be using this, so. When I'm showering, I guess, I'm just gonna have to bend down like this to wash my face. 
They even got the non-slip um, mat, which is great because, you know, don't want an accident. And, oh wait, here's the door. See, I told you, I'm like half, I'm still half asleep. So yeah, there's a door. <laughs> Some of these things don't have doors, but this one does. But very spacious bathroom. I was not expecting the bathroom to be this spacious. Was not expecting the half bath. So um, I am pleasantly surprised. One more thing, um, I like hugging it. I'm being weird. <laughs> robes and look slippers crystal love slippers i love slippers too because i don't want to have to wear you know shoes inside the room i want to keep it clean Yay, for slippers okay so we're at the end of our stay at hotel indigo paris and this hotel was fantastic um i really have no complaints even when we did have some a little issue like the sink clogging in the bathroom i let them know and they fixed it right away which is highly unusual because we've had hotel rooms where the sinks were definitely clogged and we told them, but they don't really do anything about it. The hotel room itself was fantastic. It was super uh, comfortable. Yeah, the um, bed was really comfy. Mm -hmm. Like usually like after a while my back hurts, my back never hurt once. Yeah. So this, I don't know what these mattresses are, but I'm kind of curious now what they are. <laughs> yeah. And it was nice to have like two separate rooms almost because mm -hmm. Kathy, our friend was downstairs and we stayed upstairs here and shared the queen size bed. And uh, she did have to work sometimes too. So it was nice that the downstairs had a working desk and she was able to, you know, work um, quietly yeah. while we were up here doing our stuff. Yeah, she was taking Zoom calls and all that. Mm -hmm. So and it was interesting like with the location where she was, because it is off into a corner. There's a door that's not meant for that area, but when you open it, it kind of covers like the rest of the room. So mm -hmm. we can like walk back and forth and no one would be able to see us. So that was really convenient too. The area is fantastic. Right outside there is like several restaurants, kind of more like a fine dining. We looked at the menus, a lot of seafood, but it, every night there was a ton of people sitting out and dining. So speaking of things around here, the mall is also nearby. It's called Galleries uh, Lafayette, I believe. If you love shopping, we're in the ninth district. This is the place for you. Our friend is so into shopping. She went crazy with her shopping. We're not so into shopping, but the mall itself is really beautiful. It's one of the historic malls in Paris and it's absolutely beautiful. I mean, just go there for the uh, views too because you could go up on the terrace and get a view of Paris itself. And yeah, there was just so much to do around here. Yeah, we even went to several restaurants around here. We went to a very French restaurant because they didn't even have an English menu. <laughs> so we're like using our Google Translate on our phones. Fantastic meal on our first night. Oh, we had ramen last night. Yeah. I know it's not French, but we were kind of craving Asian food. Mm -hmm. That was fantastic too. Yeah. We've been to coffee shops. Uh, yeah. Bakeries. Bakery. The bakeries were great. We went really there twice. Um, and all within walking distance, not even like five, like five minutes from our hotel. Yeah. So there was one thing actually um, I wanted to mention was the Wi-Fi uh, downstairs because we have a loft. It, the downstairs portion of our loft, the Wi-Fi worked pretty well, but when we were upstairs. It worked, but it was a really weak signal and it would, you would always have to connect to it. So that was my maybe like one little complaint. Yeah, that's not, I mean, you can do Instagram and emails, but when my husband tried to call me FaceTime, it wasn't working. Mm -hmm. There wasn't enough signal yeah. to do FaceTime. But other than that, little things, it was enough up here. But if you really need Wi-Fi, you're gonna have to stay downstairs. Yeah, because as Candy said, you know, they, our friend was taking Zoom calls, so it was strong enough downstairs. Just yeah. upstairs was kind of a little bit of a an issue. Weak, yeah. And if you want to work out, they do have a fitness room here. It's a little bit tiny, but you know, it's kind of expected in Paris. At least they have a fitness room. Yeah, you have to reserve it too, if you want to use it. And then they give you a key. It's a separate key, not your hotel key. So make sure you go to the front desk and tell them. They do provide towels. There's actually a bathroom in there as well. And you do get a little bit of a view. There was like two treadmills. So you can get a little bit of a workout in if you want. Uh, we really enjoyed our stay here. We do highly recommend staying in this hotel. Uh, it's Hotel Indigo Opera, because I believe there's another Hotel Indigo around here in Paris. Great service, great free breakfast. Mm. It came with our room. The service there was great too. Every yeah. time we went in and out of the hotel, everyone would be like, bonjour. Yeah. <laughs> so. But yeah, I hope this review helped you out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to watch more of our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.